Lives of Our Saints. On the 2nd of October, our church celebrates the feast day of Saints Justine and Cyprian. The following are some thoughts on their lives and works. Justine was of a wealthy family of Damascus, who at an early age had denied worldly pleasures and devoted her body and soul to Christ. As it happened, there was, there was in the city a man, Cyprian by name, who practiced magic and the art of pagan healing. He fell desperately in love with Justine and made his intentions well known. He exercised various magic spells, incantations and the like, to make Justine fall in love with him, but to no avail. Cyprian would follow Justine whenever he had the opportunity. One day, as he was following her, Justine finally stopped. She then spoke to him at length about his situation and about heaven and salvation. Cyprian had remained transfixed and enthralled by it all. Within a short time, after this encounter, Cyprian threw away all his magic potions and joined a school for Christians. He was then baptised. But instead of pursuing Justine, he devoted himself to the monastic life and finally became a priest who was consecrated afterwards bishop. Justine, in the meantime, remained faithful to her commitment and now openly spoke to various groups about Christ. Having gained high visibility, Justine was finally turned in to the Roman Count of Damascus. These were the days of the great persecution of Christians under Emperor, em, under Emperor Diocletian. The Count ordered Justine jailed and tortured. By now, Bishop Cyprian heard of Justine's predicament and went to comfort her as best as he could. Needless to say, he was also arrested, thrown in jail and tortured. There Justine and Cyprian were repeatedly asked to offer sacrifice to the pagan idols. After repeated denials to do so, they were both beheaded in the public arena in the year 304. The Church honours the martyrdom of both of these saints on the 2nd of October.